Hello guys, welcome back to Receiver Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Receiver Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the flexible payment. We have different types of the payment. Uh, for example, the flexible payment, the rigid payment, the granular payment. Uh, but in this case, we will only discuss the uh, flexible payment. It is called as the flexible because uh, it shows more flexible behavior as compared to the other type of the payment. Because of the asphalt material and asphalt is a more flexible uh, more ductile material is compared to the other types of the payment which I will discuss in the coming videos so I want you to know about the different layers uh, uh, which a flexible payment uh, is based on this 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 shows the cross-section of the payment in which we provide the different layers to support the load and to distribute the load to the bottom of the payment as we know that the uh, this is the middle of the road middle and this is the one way of the road and this is the other way this the and in this direction this is the one direction in which the car moves and this is the other direction so and this is called the longitudinal uh, longitudinal weave a longitudinal section of the road while this is the cross section if we look into this section AA if I call it AA so this is the cross section AA of this road in which we have different layers and each layer has different purposes. Now, to start with the layers, first of all, the bottom layer of the payment is the subgrade. It is called as the subgrade layer. And this is the bottom most, most bottom layer of the payment in which the whole load acts upon this load. So it should must have sufficient stiffness and strength to resist the load properly because uh, the whole load will come uh, at last to this layer and this is called the subgrid layer of the payment and this is the cross section of just of the flexible payment we are going to discuss only the flexible payment the second layer above the uh, on the top of the subgrid layer is the sub base layer is the sub base layer also this layer is known as the frost protection layer this layer sometimes called as the frost protection layer because it is used to protect the payment from the frost when there is a uh, cool down when there is low when there's cool down of the temperature uh, we want to protect our payment from the frost deformation that's why we that's why we always try to provide the sub base layer also helps in the uh, load distribution to the subgrid layer on the above on the top of the sub base layer we have the base layer base layer which is of the granular material now uh, it may be of the crushed uh, rock or the uh, gravel or the cycle, uh, recycled concrete but this layer helps to distribute the load to the sub base and sub base to the subgrade so in this way uh, our load distributed in this case right in this way so the base layer uh, is mostly used for the load distribution and also for the uh, drainage and this is the main layer of the payment so it should have good strength to resist the load and to transfer the load to the bottom layers of the payment now on the top of the base layer we have asphalt layer this whole layer is known as the asphalt layer asphalt layer this whole layer is known as the asphalt layer but asphalt layer has been further classified into three different layers the first one is called as the if I draw three different sections, so this will be the first. This hole is called the asphalt layer. This is being divided into three different uh, uh, layers. The first, the first one is called as the asphalt surface layer. Asphalt surface layer. The second layer. Is called is the asphalt binder layer asphalt binder layer and the third layer of the asphalt is known as the asphalt base core asphalt base core while this whole is called is the asphalt layer right and this has been uh, classified into three different layers of the first the top layer is called the asphalt a surface layer uh, the second one is the asphalt binder layer and the third one is the asphalt base course so uh, we know that the asphalt has been divided into different layers 
and each uh, asphalt layer has its own purpose. The asphalt surface layer um, has the properties of smoothness, friction, and the drainage characteristics. Uh, and asphalt binder layer it binds the uh, the two layers uh, to distribute the load uh, to the bottom layer. And asphalt base coat is used for the uh, fatigue resistance of the load, while the uh, and in the bottom layer is the base layer in which the load from the asphalt layer is being distributed into the base layer. Then the base layer transfer this load uh, to the uh, to the sub base and then to the sub grade. In this way, uh, the load transfer from the top to the bottom in a distributed way. Hope you guys understand the flexible payment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.